Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be showing you a padded blouse with yoke and we'll be needing two different fabrics to do this. That's the yoke material and the main material. Also, we'll be needing your interface and your lining. The length measurements we'll be working with are the length of your yoke, the underbust, the half length if it's a peplum, or the full length if it's just a straight blouse. It is going to be the easiest way to make your peplum blouse with yoke and it's going to be a padded one don't forget we upload our cutting and sewing tutorial separately so if you're watching the cutting you also need to watch the sewing tutorial and if this is your first time on our channel kindly click the subscribe and the bell button to get notified each time we upload a new video remember it costs you nothing so let's move to the cutting tip <laughs> Welcome back. Um, I really want this to be very, very simple and easy for us to do. So, in one of my tutorials, I already drafted out how to um, draft or how to cut your padded blouse. So, all I did here was just to place the drafted pattern on it. So, you, you can just watch the tutorial to know how to go about this. This is the front and this is the back. And... Um, I already have this out the front the back now i received um a message or a question now if we are to unfold you know we folded this two so we had it two inches in our drafted um pattern before bringing out the shape so i got a question if we are to unfold the two before cutting out the back so i, I already replied but i feel it might be of help so the two inches we hid here in the front pattern remember we still need to add our two inches for zipper allowance so what if you unfold the two inches at the front so you that means you own you just place it the same way to cut the back but if your two inches at the front is still hidden that means you still need to add your zipper allowance to the back pattern so I'll, i'm cutting out this as an half length i'll be adding a flare to it to make it a peplum blouse and you can make yours a straight blouse just go ahead with whatever style you have in mind so the length here is 15 inches so i'm also going to cut out the length that's the half length now which is 15 inches remember to add your seam allowance i have different um tutorials on padded blouse either the drafted one or how to cut a padded blouse now this is what we are working it i have the front and i have the back already the next thing i'm going to do from here to get the yoke part i'll measure the length and this length now has to do with your choice you can bring it down as low as you want but I'll be using seven inches because the fabric I'll be using is going to be um, a bit revealing. So I'll just use seven inches. That is the middle piece of my fabric, seven inches. And on the, the sides, I'm going to take 5.5 .5 inches. Now remember to slant one inch on the shoulder. Now, I took 7 and I took 5.5 .5 inches. To cut this out, this is my 7 inches. You can decide to make this a round neck, a V-neck, a sweetheart neck. Just go ahead with any design of your choice. You know I love sweetheart necks, so I'll be going for sweetheart neck as well. And to do that, to bring out my sweetheart neck shape, I'll get my six inches on the other side so from my six to the seven inches i'm going to bring it out just like so just like this in order to cut it out and from these i'm still coming back to my 5.5 .5 inches length that i measure so i'm going to definitely link this with this 
so this is how i'm going to cut it out okay before i cut this just in case you want to make yours a round neck that means you're going to have this then you can as well connect with this if you want it to be a v-neck you just bring it out this way then you connect with this so just go ahead with any design of your choice on the middle piece then you connect with the side measurements so my sweetheart neck goes thus By the time I unfold, I'm sure going to get this. But now we'll still continue with the yoke part of our dress. The length I brought out here is 7 inches, remember. Okay, this is my um, fabric. And what I'm going to do first is to fold based on the bust measurement, just to be on the safer side. And that is 10.5 inches. That is your bust divided by 4 plus 2 inches or your bust circumference plus eight inches divided by four now i'm going to place this i'm going to place this first then with this so this is the middle And the length that I want, remember we brought out 7 inches from here. We measured out 7 inches from the middle. So I'm going to make it 8 inches now. I already had it my allowance. First, I'm going to trace this out. Then I'll measure, let's just complete the measurement. The shoulder divided by 2, which is 7 inches. And I'm going to link this. Now, this is more than what we need here, what we measured out here. And that's because we are still going to join this part. But it is just fine. I'm going to connect like this to cut. Sorry about that. So like I said, from here now, we are going to trace out this shape. Now from here, I can bring out my neck design, the depth and the width. So I'll just go ahead to measure, just go ahead and measure any neck design of your choice. I'll be taking 3 inches by 4 inches or 3 inches by 3.5 and I'll take a round shape. Now, this is the front. Remember to slant with one inch. Starting from this, from the neck design. <coughs> My front is just like this. And that's it so to cut for the back i'm going to place this that's if you want yoke as well at the back i'm just going to place this remember to add the zipper allowance i'll trace it out the length which i want just exactly what i've done here is what i'll do to the back as well then i'll also cut out my interfacing either the soft one the non-woven or the um, woven one that's the bff st 
wording or whatever name it's being called in your area i'll just add my interface and i'll also cut out my lining for this and the base of my blouse i will not be cutting it because i already have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flair I also, I also have a tutorial on how to cut um, the 1440 degree flare and the 720 degree flare. So I'll be adding the flare to the base of my blouse and the rest of it will be done in the sewing tutorial. Leave your comments in the comment section and I'll also uh, um, answer questions online. So the next tutorial you need to watch. You never can tell your question might also be there and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel kindly click the subscribe button click the bell as well to get notified anytime we upload a new video till i see you next class don't miss out the sewing tutorial bye